Hello friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and this is a series for designing the foldable table in Katia V5. This is the work in progress and here is the completed design. And here is the rendered image of the same foldable table. Now let's switch back to the work in progress and here we are. Now let's open up the CAD drawing from where we can get the drawings for uh, the, the leg that we're going to design now. Here is the leg now. Uh, uh, I mean here is the, the drawing for the leg and you can see that this is the inclination 72 degrees and you can also see that England the same inclination uh, somewhere here yes so this is the leg that we're going to design so let's come to the product view and let's insert a new part and rename that particular part as visual So we will rename that part as leg short. We'll copy the same name and paste it here in the part number as well. That's good. Now let's get inside the leg short and we'll get all the tools required to design the short leg. Let's come to the side view here and click on the sketch let's make sure that you are in the parallel view and let's simply create a line and dimension it with respect to the xy plane sector 4 yeah yeah sector 4 should be good I guess yes 72 degrees no that's not good One eighty minus 72 will be good yes this is what we need now let's switch back to the drawing and let's see the total length of this particular element so it is four hundred sixty nine point nine seven so you can do the same thing four hundred sixty nine point nine seven so there is one more thing that you need to take care of that is the radius of the circle here so you can just check what's the radius it's 12.74 so it should be the same as 25.4 it's 12.74 now you can just come back to the part mode and just add that particular dimension to this and now just pull it back and place it somewhere here and just project this to 3d and make it as dotted line and now you can again go back to the drawing and see where exactly that that circle that circular hole is coming so that's 16.18 and it's a 2.5 mm hole 16.18 so you can do one thing just switch back here and take a point 
and put a point here and select that point and just fix that point there and then go inside this here it's 16.18 and come back to the drawing So that should be good I guess. Now you can uh, come back to the path mode. As you can see here it's a fully constrained line here. Now let's exit the sketch. And now what we need exactly is we first need to create a plane here. So to create a plane you first need two lines. So what I would do is I'll just get into geometric set and I'll select this plane and just offset one more plane click on OK and on that plane I'll give another sketch and in this case I'll just project this element to 3D I'll exit, exit the sketch and now I would create another plane using these two lines so I'll just select the plane and select these two lines and I would have a plane over there now I can easily select this plane and give a sketch here and in that way I would have that plane as normal and I would be easily able to trace the path for the link so what I would do now is just create line here I'll just project this to 3D and make it a dotted line and I would also what I would do is I'll just yeah let's just make sure that this line and this line is symmetrical with this particular line here. Uh oh, what happened? Something happened. What you can do is just make sure that there is nothing apart from this. And what you can do is again repeat the same step. Allow symmetry line. Oh, what you need to do is And now we need to again have a look at the drawing. Alright, now we need to make a corner of radius 70.02. You can just type in the radius. And just use the dimension tool before doing that you can bring back this and just make sure that this particular line is fixed and again hide the background and use the dimension tool the constraint tool right click allow symmetry line now again switch back to the drawing and see what other dimension that you can give in this. So it's 473.86. Now you can provide this height as well, and that should be it. Now, what's the height? 482.71 Alright. Now what else needs to be constrained? You can just move it 
up and down and find out what needs to be constrained more now you can do the normal view and bring back the background and see what looks odd here you can use the dimension tool and dimension this point with this point vertical measure and give zero and use this point and this point use the vertical measure direction and use zero now you need to make sure that uh, these lines stay at the center of this two clamps so for doing that you might want to tweak the length for 73.86 is what's given in the drawing I'm not sure that will be sufficient so what we can do is we can just take these two lines uh, these two faces here use the datum and okay just and use the point the construction line and hide the background and then you can fix these two lines here and what else you can do is you can just delete this constraint and these take these two lines and allow symmetry line delete this select these two line allow sim oh. Oops. the objective is to bring this line in between these two lines so select these two lines here go for allow symmetry line and oh my god let's try it again one and two zoom in a pinch right click allow symmetry line select this line so that brings back the line on the center of that now let's again bring back the 3d and do the normal view and that should fix our issue here so i think the dimension of this is a little different from what we have seen so we can just put it here and make it as a reference dimension reference dimension and we can just exit the sketch once again what you can do now is you need to create another plane select this line here and go for plane and create a plane on this particular point and go back to the CAD drawing and check what's the diameter or radius of that pipe so it's 25.48 come back here select this line here or else you can go for the wireframe and surface design or else no issues you can just select this line come here and just select this line here project it make it as dotted line and go for the circle and make it as uh, non-construction lines or no construction elements and go for this diameter that's I think it was 25.48 I can just switch back and check whether it is 25.48 it's 25.48 just come back here again and exit the sketch and you can just uh, use the rip command and click on OK here and go for the circle and this as the path and oh, that's not the path again what you can do it now is the plane here should be actually at this particular point yes now you need to select this sketch here 
and also an entire sketch to just select this and go for a project to 3D and go for construction line and fix that point okay that point is fixed must be fixed and go for this and go for concentricity and exit the sketch once again and now you can just use the rib command to just rib it through this profile click on ok and that ribbed it here now you can just select these two faces here and select the shell command here and give the inner thickness as I think it was 1 mm it's okay you can just go back and check always so yeah the inner thickness is 1 mm now let's come back here and you need to create a couple of holes for this pipe so you can easily do that by just selecting this plane here and clicking on the sketch and just select this circle here and project it to 3D and that's all and you can just exit the sketch and just do a pocket and up to last and here up to last as well and click on OK and that must have made a hole on the pipe here and let's check if you have any other holes on the pipe mm. yeah you have one more hole here but you don't need to hurry for making that particular hole there because once you fix the, the once you create the next pipe and once you pull it across the hole the whole location might change so it's better if you just uh, place the hole at that time uh, making the hole is not a big uh, issue or a, a big work you can do that in a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any doubts please feel free to comment below the video and if you have suggestions please you are free to give any of your suggestions so thank you so much and stay tuned